Okay, first snake of the day goes to the pygmy. You can see him. It's right there. The dusky pygmy rattlesnake is one of the most common snakes in Florida, and they're gorgeous. Take a look. The pygmy rattlesnake is one of America's smallest vipers. Its average size is 12 to 24 inches. Its record size is 33 inches. This one's just a baby though, only a few inches long, quarter for comparison. Look at that guy. He's big. I have a size 10. Amazing. It's a good size pygmy. Fat. So we were right here looking at this guy. Then let's go over here. Oh, he's moving. Let him go. He's moving. He's going. Let's look right here. What is this? Oh man, that oh, one crap. took off really fast. That's the one I wanted to get an in situ shot. Sorry. Thank you, Michael. He's gone now. Sometimes hognose snakes are confused with pygmy rattlesnakes. Let's take a look. The top left is a baby eastern hognose snake. The top right is the dusky pygmy rattlesnake. The bottom is a southern hognose snake. Now, what's the difference between them? The southern and the eastern hognose both have their noses turned up. The pygmy has a more flat and round snout. Also, there's the fact that it has a rattle. Let's compare the pygmy with some of Florida's larger rattlesnakes. The eastern diamondback rattlesnake. Biggest characteristics here are the diamond-like shapes on its back. Let's take a look at the canebrake rattlesnake, also known as the timber rattlesnake. This one's a baby. Look at the stripe that starts from the head that almost goes all the way down to the tail. Also, take a look at the cross bands. They can be a bit blotchy, however, nothing like the pygmy rattlesnake. Notice the pygmy's back stripe. It's broken by uniform blotches on its back. The side blotching isn't as uniformed, however, they are almost crisscrossing. Take a look at its yellow tail. As it gets older, it will darken. On a older pygmy, its tail is normally still lighter than the rest of its body. Some pygmies are anatheristic like this one. Look that word up and I'll give you some extra points in the comments. And believe me, those points matter. Okay, maybe they don't matter, but I'll give you some clapping hands. I see a lot of pygmy rattlesnakes while road cruising. They seem to be most abundant in the flatwoods. However, I have seen plenty in the sandhills. In fact, I have also found them in the middle of swamps and hydric hammocks. Evening and morning seems to be when I see the most. I don't rule out the middle of the day though, because they definitely move when they want to move. There is more reported bites from pygmy rattlesnakes in Florida, but this is mostly due to irresponsible human placement of limbs. Pygmy rattlesnakes get a bad rap for being aggressive. However, that couldn't be further from the truth. They would rather flee. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions, please leave me a comment. And if you want to see more content like this or my adventures in Florida and beyond, please subscribe and hit the like button.